Hello everybody. So through this session we will discuss grammar and in grammar we will continue with the uses of present tense. So this is our part 2 of the video lecture. As uh, we have discussed in our first video lecture the uses of simple present tense and present continuous tense. So today we will discuss the uses of present perfect tense and present perfect continuous tense. So we will begin with present perfect tense. So first of all present perfect tense is used to express the work which has just finished and is now not the part of present tense. For example, he has just closed the shop or I have just come to Delhi next you have finished your work and she has gone with her father so in these sentences has have plus third form of the verb shows present perfect tense so the rule becomes has have plus third form of the verb. So we see that he has plus third form here have plus third form have plus third form and has plus third form has a plus third form present perfect tense further we know there are two groups one is singular and other is plural so singular group is he she it and a name single name on the other hand plural I we you they and names so I we have to be very careful that it falls into the plural group so it will take have so with this single group it there will be always has and with this plural group we have to use have further present perfect continuous is also used to express the works which has started in past time and they are the still they are continuing present also for example I have lived in Mumbai for 
five years they have not come here for many months further we should always remember that we should never use adverbs of past time like yesterday last year some time ago with present perfect tense never for example it will be totally wrong to say he has come yesterday since it is present perfect tense so adverb of past time should not be used if we have to use yesterday then you should use at this place simple past tense like he came yesterday further we have present perfect continuous tense and this tense is used to express the work which was going on in past means it was in continuity in past and is still in continuity in present time also for example he has been studying since 6 o'clock further it has been raining since morning next he has been working in this school for many years and fourth one i have been living in this house since two thousand five so seeing the sentences we can figure out also that the rule for making present perfect continuous tense is subject plus has have plus been plus first form ing and we should always use since and for 
However, since is used when we have definite or specific starting point and for is used when we don't have definite starting point of time so we can see further since morning since monday since 7 o'clock these are specific starting point whereas for will be used with like many years now we don't know when these years has started further for 10 years 10 months because we don't have a starting point when these 10 years started and these months started only so these will not be called definite and that's why 4 will be used only and when we have specific point of starting then we will use since so that's all with the rules for using present tense thank you